Today's horoscope from Astro Academy, Aries September 19, 2023. Finally, the pace of life is about to pick up speed. Mental Mercury, our cosmic messenger planet of the mind and communication, is direct in your solar house of romance, true love, dating, and children. If you've recently reconnected with someone such as an ex or old flame use the period ahead to assess if you're both thinking clearly. With our cosmic messenger groggy but moving, new love interests may also pop up. Have meaningful heart-to-hearts. If in a relationship, use this energy to discuss how you can have more fun and laughter in your lives. Something unexpected may arise in your personal life. Getting ready for work might not be your top priority today when Venus in Leo squares Jupiter retrograde in your zodiac sign. The square may allude to having more housework to get to or issues with loved ones that need to be addressed before the week continues. As a result, you may feel like you cannot prioritize your to-do list to prepare for work. Try your best to find the happy medium between tending to personal issues while trying to prep for your work week. While there will be a chance in a few days to put your money hat on and get a better read on money matters, in the moon's final hours in your work sector today is more about having your work hat on. At the halfway point in Mars' six and a half week visit and two days after the dwarf planet series left, the moon is leaving you with a better sense of where to channel your time and energy, trusting that the money will follow. Today, give yourself more than enough time to do the most mundane things. Being rushed by others is also not something you will react well to. One of the best ways to escape the expectations of others is to set your limits and stick to them like crazy. Give yourself an extra workout, try some new form of exercise in addition to your regular routine. I do not mean that you should push yourself too far, but you have the extra energy today, and it's best that you use it for your own purposes, not someone else's. If the recent period that you have been through tended to destabilize your, today will incite you to find a certain amount of balance. Indeed, because you take everything onto yourself and systematically try to smooth things out with your family, friends, and co-workers workers, you will finally have some harmony in your life. But the vibrations won't be able to do everything, and this is why you should avoid acting like the Lone Ranger and doing everything alone. You will then have greater success in your professional life. Be diplomatic, receptive and don't speed up the rhythm too much. In this way, you will also have a better relationship with your partner. Two days after the Dwarf Planet series left your work sector and right in the heart of Mars' six and a half week visit, the Moon's final hours here are giving you a read on both. This is a chance to tie up the loose ends of series deep dive into your needs and priorities on the job front while giving you a better read on Mars warrior and competitive spirit and of where to channel it now that he is driving things. At the same time, the moon will end the day in your relationship sector, with a chance to become more emotionally engaged as series begins a deep dive into your relationship needs and priorities. Two days after the Dwarf Planet series return to your relationship sector to begin her first deep dive into your relationship needs and priorities in four years, the moon returns with a chance to check in and become more emotionally engaged. The moon returns every four weeks, but its return and alignment with series today reveals that a new chapter has begun, one that takes you much deeper than before. Our Eyes in the Sky just two days following the return of the Dwarf Planet series to your financial sector, the Moon makes its entrance today, offering you an opportunity to touch base and gauge the initial planetary activity on this financial front for the year. Series, unlike being solely money-focused, places its emphasis on comprehending your financial requirements and priorities. As the Moon re-enters this realm, it will kindle your financial instincts and ignite your imagination. It's worth noting that having Pluto in retrograde motion in your income sector around this time of year has been the norm ever since its initial arrival in 2008. However, the time has come for this planet of transformation and revolution to bid its farewell. While Pluto will make a temporary retrograde return for a few months in the coming year, it won't coincide with the Sun's presence in your career sector. Furthermore, 
it won't happen at a time when there is a wealth of resources available across the income, work, and career fronts to support Pluto's mission of unearthing untapped income potential. Three days after both a new moon in your income sector and Mercury's direct turn here, the moon is gone but you are still regrouping. While this has given income potential the green light and the sun is now just five days away from leaving, with Mercury here for the rest of the month and Venus, the planet of money still three weeks away, the best is still to come. In essence, this marks a pivotal moment as Pluto takes its final bow in this particular astrological configuration. The stage is set for you to explore new horizons and tap into financial opportunities, guided by the insights gained from Ceres and fueled by the celestial alignment of the Moon. The Moon's first visit to your financial sector since the dwarf planet Ceres returned over the weekend is also the last while she is on her own here. By the time the Moon returns in four weeks, for the first time in two years Mars will be here and his drive to take your financial power back will have ushered in a time of action. For now, with your financial instincts and imagination fueled this is a chance to observe as Ceres focuses less on the money and more on your financial needs and priorities. The Sun's alignment in Virgo today brings with it a subtle frustration, as it forms a quincunx aspect with the North Node of Destiny. This cosmic configuration may leave us feeling a bit uncertain when it comes to decision-making. However, there's a silver lining to this celestial arrangement to Euro, it compels us to explore all available options before taking action. Instead of rushing into choices hastily, today is an opportune moment for deep reflection. Be mindful that any decisions made under these astrological conditions may be marked by hesitation and potentially lead to future complications. To navigate this energy, it's wise to adopt a more measured approach and resist the urge to take definitive actions at this time. As the moon continues its first visit to your financial sector since the dwarf planet series return over the weekend it continues to make waves, as it does with each monthly visit. As well as fueling your financial instincts and imagination and ensuring you are emotionally and intuitively engaged, this is putting the interplay between money coming in and money going out in the spotlight. Your enthusiasm to propel yourself forward may be palpable, but it's crucial to recognize that others might misinterpret your intentions, especially in intimate matters. Avoiding misunderstandings can be challenging, so exercise restraint and demonstrate appreciation for both those around you and your current circumstances. Interestingly, this is an ideal time for financial endeavors. Consider indulging in some well-deserved retail therapy, but don't splurge on a single extravagant item. Instead, Focus on making smart investments with your money. The people in your life are offering sincere advice, so don't hesitate to heed their wisdom. Whether you're contemplating a small purchase or embarking on a substantial financial venture, the stars indicate that you're likely to benefit, even if your spending exceeds your usual limits.